My name is Jensen, I'm a 23-year-old entrepreneur, and welcome to a day in my life. Today, I'm gonna show you how I run my three businesses. The reality is, it isn't always pretty. Entrepreneurship is very different from what is often shown online. If you wanna know what it's really like to run your own business, or in my case, three businesses, watch until the end of this video, because I'm gonna reveal it all to you. Let me give you some backstory. Growing up, entrepreneurship was always a part of my life. I had side hustles since I was 12 years old, I studied business in university, and I founded businesses in university as well. However, I never planned to pursue entrepreneurship full time because I didn't believe I could do it. It was last year, during my final year of university, when my entire mentality changed. I somehow gained enough confidence in myself and my businesses to actually consider it. And when COVID hit, I took it as an additional sign to never put off chasing my dreams, which leads me to where I am today, stressed but also having the time of my life. <laughs> Let's talk about my current day-to-day -day life. Right now, I run three businesses. My schedule and responsibilities are different every day as everything is mixed together. Now, what are my three businesses exactly? I'll be going over them one by one throughout this video, starting with my first business, YouTube. I started my YouTube channel back in 2007, simply as a creative outlet for myself. But in the last year or so, it has grown to become a significant income stream for me, and ultimately, its own business. To be able to create videos and pursue my passion of storytelling and inspiring others for a living has just been incredible so far. That's not to say that YouTube is all fun and games though. Despite what it seems like, running a YouTube channel that's actually profitable takes much more than just pointing a camera and hitting record. There's a lot of work and business that goes on behind the scenes. A lot of my hours are spent sitting at my desk, staring at my computer screen. Speaking of which, I mostly run my YouTube channel as well as my other businesses from the comfort of my own home. I consider my desk my tiny little headquarters. I spend most of my waking hours here and because of that, I've invested in a clean and functional desk setup for myself. As an entrepreneur that wears a lot of different hats, I only have so much time in my day. So technology is my best friend when it comes to operating and growing my businesses. Some tools I use are very common like Google Drive and Notion, but some are made specifically for entrepreneurs and businesses. For example, Surfwatch helps track and improve my website's SEO, CoinStats helps manage my business's crypto portfolio, and Overlay helps speed up our front-end development. I picked up all these tools from AppSumo, which is the leading digital marketplace for entrepreneurs, and they are also today's video sponsor. AppSumo is the place to discover, buy, and sell the products you need to grow your business and audience. They're always running deals on the best business tools, and they're trusted by over 1 million entrepreneurs entrepreneurs and creators. AppSumo is actually holding an awesome event right now called Sumo Day. For 72 hours, they're bringing you special products, discounts, and giveaways such as the new iMac. On top of all of this, AppSumo gave me $10,000 to give away to you guys. The first 500 people to click the link in the description will get $20 off their first purchase. So if you're looking to take your business to the next level, make sure you check out AppSumo and the Sumo Day discounts before they end on July 16th. Link is in the description. So what is my second business? My second business is Storage Hotel, a full service storage startup where we make storage incredibly convenient by picking up, storing, and delivering our customers' items. My brother and I founded Storage Hotel in 2019 when I was still in university. Since then, it has become a sizable business for us that we run on the daily. Running Storage Hotel is very different than running my YouTube channel because of its physical nature. Instead of digital videos, we deal with the storage of real world items, moving, labor, vehicles, facilities. It's quite a logistical operation and it definitely has a bit more moving pieces compared to uploading a YouTube video. Storage does have a major similarity with YouTube though, and that similarity is the key factor into how I can pursue multiple businesses at once. Let's dive into it. So how do I manage running three businesses at once? It's not because I'm a crazy productive human robot. It's because the businesses that I run mostly generate passive income. Passive income is money that doesn't require much time or effort to earn. A lot of people like to put it as money that you can earn while you sleep. For example, my YouTube channel generates passive income through Google AdSense and affiliate marketing. When I upload a YouTube video, all I need to do is turn on monetization and paste affiliate links in the description and it will basically earn me income forever, at least however long YouTube exists for. There is no further work for me to do as YouTube and the affiliate programs do all the work for me. Let's now look at Storage Hotel. Storage is a very passive income stream. We store items in our facility and every month we earn income from the monthly storage fees. There's not much else to it. This in turn opens up time for me to focus on more important aspects of each business, pursue other business opportunities, as well as just live life. Now, a common belief about businesses that generate passive income is that 
they don't take much time or effort to start. It took me years to get to where I am today on YouTube. It took us years to really figure out the storage hotel operation we have now. Businesses that generate passive income typically require a large initial investment upfront in terms of time, effort, and sometimes money. However, once they're built up to a point where they're self-sustainable, these businesses become relatively easy to manage. That doesn't mean that you can just set it and forget it though. Although the core operations of these businesses are self-sustainable, they're still marketing, maintenance, customer service, and other responsibilities that you still have to deal with to make sure that these businesses perform at their best and continue to grow. As you can probably already tell, passive income plays a very important role in my business strategies. It's a big reason why I've been starting to focus less and less on my third business which is client work, or rather the agency side of Jensen Tung Media. As a creative growing up, I was really into photo, video, graphic design, and social media, and so it only made sense for me to offer such services to people and companies. During the majority of my time in university, this was the business I focused on the most. As of now, I still do it and take on new client work when the right opportunities arise, but I don't really focus on seeking new clients or expanding this business because client work income isn't very passive. You need to trade your time to earn money from it, and more often and not, I'd rather spend my time growing my other businesses that generate passive income. Ever since I've started my entrepreneurship journey, I've realized just how valuable time is. Not only in terms of the time I have to work, but the time I have for myself. Here's the honest truth about being an entrepreneur. Pursuing entrepreneurship is like a constant battle with yourself. Externally, entrepreneurship can be very taxing on our bodies. Instead of working 40 hours a week, you work 100 hours a week. You're constantly fighting against the feeling of stress and burnout. And oftentimes, you even neglect to do essential tasks like eating, exercising, and connecting with friends and family. Internally, you are in a constant battle with your mind, your emotions, your fears, your expectations. You constantly ask yourself, will you make it? Are you doing enough? Are you successful? You become your toughest critic, and there's always a sense of pressure that underlies every moment of your day. Because there's never a moment in your day when you aren't thinking about your business in one way or another. I'm sharing all this not for the purpose to glamorize it because let's be real, many entrepreneurs do. Hustle culture, right? I'm sharing all this because I think hustle culture is whack. It's not healthy and it's not a lifestyle I want to live. Throughout this video, I hope you've noticed that the businesses that I choose to run and the way I choose to run them is not solely focused on making money. I mean, making money is definitely a big factor in my decision making, but I also make sure I consider my health, passions, and happiness as well. It's funny because ever since I embarked on this journey of entrepreneurship and money, how much I value material things and the idea of being rich has sharply decreased. Instead, it has been how much I value time, relationships, and personal fulfillment that has actually increased. If there's one thing I want you to remember from this video, it'd be to make sure to find balance in your work. Work hard and make your dreams a reality, but at the same time, design your career so you still have moments to breathe and enjoy the moment, especially when you're young. Because money, you have your entire life to make, but your time and youth, you can't always make that back. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, consider checking out my other videos, and peace out.